Nature gave Simpson Master Mark doors their rich texture, flowing grain, and natural wood color. You supply the rest. Simpson Master Mark doors are a natural. They add genuine warmth and style to any home, whether new or remodeled. They're a beautiful way to create lasting first impressions. And only Simpson Master Mark doors capture the rich feel, depth, and beauty of real wood with such elegance. But will Simpson Master Mark doors last as long as other doors? With proper care and finishing, the answer is yes. But beyond simply giving Simpson Master Mark doors long-lasting beauty, proper finishing can also improve long-term performance of the door, including helping to prevent problems associated with wood doors. And since you can stain wood to match any decorative treatment, staining and finishing is a great way to beautify an entrance. These entrances fitted with Simpson Master Mark doors are a beautiful testament. We'll cover the basic steps and methods of handling and finishing Simpson Master Mark doors. But since our information is by no means complete, always follow the Simpson Master Mark care and finishing instructions as well as the instructions of your paint or stain maker. You should always store our doors flat. Pick a level surface in a dry, well-ventilated area and be sure to keep each door clean and free from dust. Since some of our doors contain glass, never walk on a packaged door unit. Also, avoid dragging doors across one another to prevent scuffing the door's surface. Unfinished doors are sensitive to the effects of humidity, so be careful not to subject our doors to extreme changes in humidity, such as forced heating used to dry out a building after plastering and always let doors become acclimated to an area's average humidity before hanging. If you're going to store the doors on a job site for more than a few days, it's very important to seal all the door ends and edges. This will help stop moisture absorption. Getting the result you want from a finish is easier when you follow some simple pre-finishing steps. To begin with, Hang the door to make sure it fits correctly. Now, check around the door for any gaps. Did you know the majority of energy lost in a doorway happens around the door, not through it? You can cut down on this energy loss by using a weather strip system on and around the perimeter of the door. If you need to adjust the door's height or width, Make any necessary corrections now. Remember to rehang the door after the adjustments to make sure the fit is right. Immediately after hanging, begin your pre-finishing steps. Since wood panels float between the stiles and rails, you need to realign them prior to finishing and hanging. Use a radius wood block and hammer to realign the panels, being careful not to damage the door. Next, remove any fingerprints and handling marks by sanding the entire door lightly with a 180 grit sandpaper. After sanding, clean the door thoroughly with a tack cloth to remove all dust and other substances that might prevent the finish from adhering properly. A word of caution, never use caustic or abrasive materials when cleaning a door. Lastly, remember to remove the weather strip sweep from the bottom of the door before finishing. To set up a door for finishing, place the door on sawhorses, making sure the horses are stable and the door is secure. Be sure the area you use for finishing is well ventilated. Follow your stain manufacturer's directions on the type of ventilation needed for your particular application. To satisfy your warranty, make sure you cover all ends and edges with each and every coat that you apply to the door. You may want to use a pre-sealer to ensure a uniform color from the stain. Apply pre-sealer prior to the first coat of stain.
For your stain coat, use a stain color that will complement the area in which you'll hang the door. As you can see, stain comes in a wide variety of colors. Be sure your stain is alkyd resin based because it will help seal as well as stain. Apply the stain coat by brush, cloth, or spray, depending on the manufacturer's recommendations. If you use a wiping stain, remove the excess by wiping along the grain with a cloth. Since this is an exterior door, don't use a lacquer-based toner or lacquer-based finish. Lacquer-based finishes are designed for interior applications only. The top coat you'll use as your door's clear finish will be one of two types, solvent-borne or water-borne. To pick a finish, consider the needs of your specific application. Then evaluate the relative characteristics of each type of finish. Solvent-borne clear finishes include oil base, alkyd resin base, and polyurethane resin base finishes. All have several distinct benefits. They dry fast, they have a hard finish, and they're very water resistant. You can also apply solvent-borne finishes under variable weather conditions, including cooler temperatures. Water-borne finishes have many fine characteristics too. For instance, water-borne finishes are very flexible. They have good exterior durability, and they offer great ultraviolet light resistance. When using a water-borne finish, Take care not to apply the finish below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll also need to allow for a long drying period. In fact, a waterborne finish may not cure for several weeks. And during this drying period, be sure to keep the door dry, since the finish is very water sensitive. While any number of quality finishes are available, we've chosen to apply our second coat using a polyurethane finish. You can apply this finish by spray or brush, depending on your finish manufacturer's recommendations. For optimum penetration of the finish into the door, some manufacturers recommend thinning the first coat of finish. It's important to properly finish all surfaces of the door. Cover the edges and ends with each and every coat of finish you apply to the door's exterior. Always make sure the doors are dry before adding additional coats or hanging the door. You need to apply more than two coats of finish for optimum results. Three coats will help prolong the life of the door. Between coats, once the door is dry, scuff sand the surface before applying another coat. On doors with glass inserts, such as this door and many other Simpson Mastermark doors, Flow the finish from the wood slightly onto the glass. This will create a watertight seal and protect the glazing material from drying out. All stain and clear finishes will perform much better if you protect them from the direct effects of sunlight and weather. You also won't have to refinish as frequently. The best type of protection is an overhang. If an overhang is not possible, or if the door has a southern or western exposure, Use a light color stain to help minimize heat buildup in the door.